When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, there is only so long that they can seem to hold you in their games, unaware of what they are doing to you, unaware of their patterns of behaviour. However, at some point, and it can be something minor, it can be something major, at some point, something clicks, enough is enough and you make the hard decision to walk away from them be it a parent that raised you, a sibling you grew up with, a partner. It's difficult walking away from those who you care about. However, when you can recognise that their behaviour negatively impacts your life and they're forever playing the victim, nothing's ever their fault and you can recognise that they're not going to change, you can make the difficult decision to remove yourself from their lives. Narcissistic people don't take too kindly to this, especially if they haven't got a new source of supply lined up. So there's several ways they may respond when they realise that you are taking your supply away from them. Now, genuine people, can act in some of these ways when they have had their life torn apart from them. When everything seems to be going okay and then all of a sudden they discover that somebody has deceived them, lied to them. When somebody they were building their dreams with all of a sudden ups and leaves them. It causes that soul-destroying heartbreak. And when you're in that, you might react in some of these ways. And it's not because of a loss of supply. It's a loss of your hopes, your dreams. It's a loss of the person you care dearly for. It's the sudden recognition that everything that you've just lived with that person, although you lived it and that was reality, it's, it's brought it all into question. The present moment is all of a sudden brought into question. Your future is all of a sudden brought into question. So you can also act in these ways. It is a process that we have to deal with and go through. With narcissistic people, it's their loss of supply. If they've got a new source of supply lined up, they might just leave you alone. If they haven't got a new source of supply made up, lined up, they're going to play so many games to keep hold of you, keep hold of the supply you're providing them. And it's not because of their hopes and dreams, because they've made those up based on who you are as a person. They couldn't care less about those. They care about the supply. So one thing a narcissistic person might do when they realise that you've just had enough of their games is get upset. And as it's natural to get upset when you're breaking up with somebody, when you're not getting along with somebody, you have the empathy to relate to them being upset. You don't want to hurt their feelings. You care about them. So it, it pulls you back in. However, what you have to recognise is if they're up and, upping and leaving you and you are upset, they don't care. They're not interested. Instead, they just blame you for the pain that you are in, which is the second thing they might do. They might start blaming you for ruining their life. And as if somebody was to cheat on you, you might blame them for ruining your life. If someone deceived you out of a lot of money, you might blame them for ruining your life. So you can relate when a narcissistic person starts blaming you. However, as, as you have the empathy to care, and this is often why it takes at least seven attempts to get a, away from these kinds of relationships, is 
as they are blaming you and you care about them, you want to fix the faults that they're claiming to see if you can make it work with them. However, when you're blaming them, if they're discarding you, they're not interested in fixing any faults because they lack the empathy to care for you. They will give you little to no understanding of the things they have done or are doing to you. They're not interested in communication. They're interested in control. They might start trying to convince you that you're making a mistake because in their eyes, they haven't got a new source of supply lined up. So they need you to stay and serve them. So they're going to come up with remember the good times after all I've done for you to get you to feel like you're making a mistake in leaving them. If you just give them a little bit longer. Again, when a narcissistic person is discarding you and you've put a lot of effort in, you can turn around to them and say, you're making a mistake. We can achieve this together. We can do that together. Everything that you discussed in the beginning, only they're not interested in those things. They couldn't care less about those things. They borrowed your dreams to sell them to you so that they could get their needs met by you. As you care about them, when they're coming at you, claiming that you're the one that's making a mistake, it makes you stop and think and it can make you change your mind. They might start guilt tripping you into staying when they start saying things such as I've nothing without you. I'm lost without you. They might come with the threats of harming themselves. So you feel bad for leaving somebody that you care about, even though the relationship doesn't work. The personalities don't match. They bring you pain and no matter how many times you try to help them the cycle just repeats however they're making you feel guilty for leaving them until that day when you've just had enough of these games and these plays and you recognize that it's a game they're playing and they're not going to change and walk away when a narcissistic person discards you especially if you have children with them you can try and make them see that you're hurting the children, you're hurting the family. And it is it is manipulative in one sense, but it's not done to manipulate. It's done to try and communicate, try and work out what is happening. Yet again, with a narcissistic person, they don't care about those children unless they're getting supply from those children. So they're not interested. They're looking for the thrill. They're looking for the adventure and they like the empathy to care for how it affects those around them. They might promise to change. Now, when a narcissistic person is discarding you, usually because they blamed and shamed you for everything, they've drained you. So you're finding life difficult. You're struggling you might promise to change for them because they've made you feel less than, they've devalued you to the point where you feel worthless and you feel like you're not good enough for them. So you might promise to change for them, which you cannot change around a narcissistic person in the way that you would like because they are just going to suck the energy and the life out of you. A narcissistic person isn't interested in you changing, they're interested in supply. And if they've got supply lined up elsewhere, then they will go for that new fresh supply to gain the attention and the admiration that they want because you're now too drained to give it to them until they drain the new supply and then they'll come back to you. So they're not interested if you're going to change. However, if you're thinking of leaving them, they will promise to change for you just long enough to get their needs met by you. So they will promise not to lie to you again, not to cheat on you again, not to hurt you again. And then as soon as you forgive them and take them back, they will do all those things to you again. You promise to change your mindset, to be more 
happy person, to give them more attention. You don't promise to not hurt them again because you haven't hurt them in the first place, not in a way that they've hurt you. They've suffered a narcissistic injury because they've drained you and they're not getting the attention they believe they're entitled to. However, no matter how much attention you give a narcissistic person, it will never be enough for them. They require that excessive adoration. They might start to sabotage you when they realise that you're moving on and they haven't got a new source of supply lined up, they will entertain themselves and keep themselves busy by sabotaging your plans, by sabotaging your career, by smearing your name, by playing the victim so that they gain sympathetic attention and you're the one that looks like the mean one. However, if they up and leave you, and move straight in with somebody new, they're going to accuse you of being obsessed and jealous and bitter and you're not actually smearing their name, you're just telling the truth. They've moved straight on. You're looking for understanding and answers. You're not obsessed, they're just failing to collect their things. So you're messaging them to try and get them to pick up their things. You're not smearing their name, you're telling the truth. A narcissistic person will move on, leave you on your own and claim that you're the one that's wanting too much attention, even though you're on the, your own processing and healing from the devastation. And so yes, we are all capable on the breakdown of a relationship to behave in these manners. However, it's the intentions behind the behaviour. Narcissistic people are looking for supply and control. Non-narcissistic people are looking for understanding, communication. There is a very fine line between the behaviours and what differentiates between the two is a pattern of behaviour that one person follows and fails to break free from and someone who is led into a pattern of behaviour and yes it might take an average of seven attempts so it might take more than seven it might take less to recognise get out and break the pattern. It's incredibly hard when narcissistic people are playing these mind games with you every time you're trying to leave them because you care about them. And it can lead some people into unfortunately cheating to get out. It doesn't make the cheating right. It does not make it right. You still have to be responsible for your own behaviour even if it is provoked by another person. We are only responsible for our own behaviour. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or any behaviour you noticed a vulnerable narcissist come out with to play the victim when they thought you were leaving them or when you were leaving them, please do add those into the comments for those reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.